Hi, I'm Simon Fuller, Managing Director of Contec Constructions. Contec Constructions uh, started in 1993 um, with a view to be a, a leading uh, small civil contractor. Uh, we've had a lot of um, changes of directions over the years. Uh, excited to be part of the project, the Positive Plans project. Contec have expressed interest in the Positive Plans, Positive Futures project. Uh, and have accepted to participate as one of our industry partners. What prompted you to submit that expression of interest in the first place? What, uh, I was very excited about hearing about this project, John, and um, excited to be um, invited. Um, what prompted me was that uh, I think over the time I've been exposed to um, learning a bit more about mental health and men's health in, in industry. Through, through, through some exposure with um, men's health and mental health in, within our industry, uh, an organisation called SALT were probably one of the, the um, I guess, the real motivators in, in my life on uh, how we can help others um, and um, life training, etc. Uh, another uh, reason that sort of led me towards this path was being part of the Civil Skill, uh, Skills Cadet Program. Uh, where I was um, put through a portfolio to testing, I suppose. And my, it, it appears my natural talent would be a community builder, um, which leads me to be naturally wanting to help others. Um, therefore, this all sort of um, feels, like, uh, feels like one and uh, makes me feel good at the same time. I suppose the, historically it's, uh, it's a bulletproof industry um, until you're not. Um, uh, how are we stressed? Um, it can be a very, well, it's a, it's a highly, it's an expensive operation that we run. Um, mistakes can be made. Um, we, are, we are price driven. We need to win work at lowest price often, which leads to stress within management and then downstream as well. Um, it, it can be stressful in the workplace. It doesn't need to be. What do you want to get out of this project, both personally and also from a business perspective? Personally, I'll go back to it makes me feel good. Um, how will the project help Contact Constructions? Um, I think our business is on a really good path to having um, um, a very trusting environment, very caring environment. Um, this will only consolidate that and make it stronger again. It's a bit like what you stand for and the values of your organisation. Um, and, and that you care for your, for your team? Exactly, John. And uh, um, so behaviour plus values equals that, 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 that really um, great environment. With regard to what you said earlier, John, <clears throat> um, was it three, one in three claims will be mental health claims? Yeah. Um, the storm is coming and we're, 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 we shouldn't have, we, we should be aware of that. Yeah. And I think being in the property development area, you've seen a lot of that with the home builder scheme currently being introduced, the deadlines that are being put in place. You've touched on budget, time, schedules and delivery for projects. They're all what I call the perfect storm that leads to stress. Yep, and uh, well, it's up to the leaders here, I'll go back to your question just now, the leaders that, that can show some courage um, around this program and, and others that are going to be coming through. Um, how we can avoid the external stresses that get pushed onto us, and how we can manage them as, a, as opposed to just bury our head in the sand. And as a business leader, it's having the courage to be different, yeah. to make a difference. Yeah, that's a great word for today, okay. courage. <laughs> courage. Um, in the industry, we're used to working with um, whether it be uh, cultural heritage management plans, capability statements as part of our tendering process. Are you seeing many health, mental health action plans starting to emerge within the industry? Are they, are they common or are they non-existent? The short answer is no, they're not common. Um, and, and once again, this project is, is fantastic and how, how it can be, um, it can be life-changing for many people. I get back to your part of the question, John. Um, we've got cultural heritage management plans, health and safety plans, quality plans. We're in a perfect position, the construction industry, civil construction industry particularly, to develop a plan that can be implemented because we're so used to dealing with plans.
um, I commend uh, everyone who's involved in this project. Would it be beneficial and realistic to require civil construction businesses right across the state to develop mental health action plans as part of their tender process? Great question, John. Without question, it would be beneficial to the whole industry to develop mental health and safety plans, um, wellbeing plans, let's call them that too. Um, it's what we can do as a community, in my eyes, how we can lift together, um, what we can learn in the workplace, we can bring home, we can take, we can bring through our children, um, we can talk to our friends. Um, and what we'll do in the workplace will only extend and, and grow that. Um, I believe we're in an excellent position to do some great things. What do I do for my own personal time and um, how do I look after my own wellbeing? Um, I enjoy fitness at the moment and probably more so than I have and, uh, over the last, I probably, probably uh, neglected that side of my life for a long time. Um, I'm enjoying uh, booking uh, it's kind of adventurous holidays. Um, we're off on a hiking trip. Uh, the Overland Trail coming up shortly, six day hike, just my wife and I. Uh, training for that now and feeling good about it. Um, Spending quality time with the, with the children as they're growing. Um, our oldest is 21 now and being, you know, the conversations are just so interesting and exciting around uh, that. Uh, and then having two other younger children as well, bringing them up and feeling wonderful about that. Um, I enjoy uh, some eclectic uh, collections these days. I'm collecting um, antique maps from around the world. Uh, just something that's just a little bit different. I was lucky to have a, an amazing father that started our business um, and he, Adrian and I worked together for um, 15 odd years um, as my mentor, father and you know, great man in my life. He, the work ethic that my father brought to our business was the man become his second, the business is first. It's an old style of management and culture that that was good for a while, but it's, it's different now and times are different. Um, so I was shown how to work hard. <laughs> that was it. You, you can get really excited about what you do. Um, at, at our business, at Contact, we have a culture of trying to have individuals um, stay on one project from start to finish. Um, we get some amazing conversations around the, the guys taking their families to the work site mm. once it's completed to show them just how proud they are of a brand new tennis court, sporting facility, um, all the rest of the community assets. Um, and, and I can drive around Melbourne and uh, point out all over the place, just and, and with a lot of pride. Uh, so look, I'd love to see um, more, uh, more people enter the industry with a long-term plan, uh, as opposed to falling into the industry, which has been historically one of the entry points to our industry. I think we should be doing a bit more as an industry and, and our business is to keep the ageing um, individuals in the workforce a little bit longer. Um, we've had a program of um, having six months on, six months off for some of the ageing guys. Um, in one case it was a guy that didn't, uh, his body didn't cope with the heat. So he chose to have summer off and winter on. Um, and he did that for four years and extended his working life that much longer. Importantly for me, um, the skills and the, uh, the care, or sorry, firstly the skills that he passed on, it's amazing, but the care the business showed to, his name is John, um, it was second to none as well, mm. and there's some, some good leadership there. You touched on mentoring, is there an important role there as a mentor that you believe business leaders can play? particularly as um, people are starting to, to leave the industry and retire uh, in supporting young people into the industry? Uh, I think mentoring within our industry is exactly where we should be aiming. Um, it's it's um, within our business and my, one of my philosophies is building strong teams. Now a strong team will generally have a, a leader of the sort call that person a mentor or a couple of mentors within that strong team. Uh, I, I think um, rewarding and um, celebrating those mentors will bring others up to be, to, 
assume that role as well or want to assume that role as a mentor. Do you, are there any final, I suppose, messages you could leave um, our members uh, regarding your vision for the future? What would you like to see happen over the next five to ten years within the industry in the area of positive mental health and wellbeing? I used the word celebrate before. I, I would like to see us celebrate the good things more regularly. Uh, around looking after each other. I'm not too sure I mentioned it before, but a, a culture of um, care within our, within our business is very important to me. Um, potentially we could have uh, more of a care culture across the board um, in the next five years, John. Yeah. Simon, I want to thank you for making the time available to the Civil Contractor uh, Federation, being a founding member, yeah. uh, an industry partner for this exciting program, and to giving us your own personal insights here today. Thanks very much. You're welcome, John. Pleasure.